diecast collectors, enthusiasts, what's going on? Coming at you tonight with a late night cracking video. With some goodies. Some older late 80s, early 90s die cast. So we'll start with this. Surprisingly, this is a car that I don't have. I remember as a kid or as a younger, as a younger kid that uh, this was one of the most popular Hot Wheel castings. So to not have it So this is the Sheriff Patrol. Got uh, some tampos, tampos on the top of the car. I know the light is probably pretty terrible. But metal on metal. Number 59 from 19... 91. 1991. Alright. Um, so this is something a little different. I don't even know. There is no copyright date on the card. But it's a Ertl Cars of the World 1932 Ford. This was 89 cents at TSC Farm Home and Auto. Um, no copyright date on the base. <clears throat> This is cool. This is a cool little car. It has opening doors. It's got the same wheels as some of the other Ertles I have. I'm guessing this is probably late 70s or early 80s. But it's a really cool car. It's a 32 Ford in its purest form. <clears throat> factory, no modifications, not hot rotted out, so that's pretty cool, and it's pretty heavy too, it's a plastic base, but it's pretty heavy, and uh, we got a few Matchbox Peterbilts, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you know but those are some of my favorites. And I love, I just love pulling them off the card and having them perfect mint condition with no paint chips, no wear. A nice cement truck. This is really cool. I think they did a good job with these Peterbilts. Uh, I better semis than anything Hot Wheels put out at that time. Obviously, nowadays with the long gone and the convoy custom, the Peterbilt was okay. Uh, that was a pretty nice semi. The only thing with these, I wish that they were scaled more appropriately. Um, yeah, this is one and one eightieth scale. So, put it next to a 64 scale car, it should be way bigger, but I still like them a lot. <clears throat> so we have that one, and we have 
this one. This is a shell. Uh, card is 1991, just like the Sheriff Patrol. Another nice blister, fresh blister pull matchbox. The Shell Gas Tanker Fuel Truck. That's something I forgot to show on this uh, the cement truck. The diamond pattern caution. And I've got the uh, the black Indy 500 fuel truck, so same casting as this. They're going to look pretty nice next to each other. All right. Next we have uh, another matchbox on a 1987 card. This is a Federal Express Volvo container truck. And this one is very cool. It's a lot like the highway hauler, but it's put together a lot better than the highway hauler and I'll show you what I mean by that um, first so it's a plastic box on the box truck the back opens but if you look at the bottom of this this here that the box sets on is all metal it's all casted in with the cab and it, it just feels a lot more sturdy than the highway hauler. I've got a couple of highway haulers where the cab like leans forward a little bit. Either that or the box leans back. It's hard to tell. But I just think this is a little bit nicer. But you know the highway hauler is a generic truck and this is a licensed truck so might have something to do with it but nice box truck um, so with the box truck for Federal Express we're also going to uh, I've decided we're gonna crack this open and the card on this is actually in pretty good shape um, I've seen a lot a lot worse this one's in pretty good shape, but it, I don't know what's going on with the uh, just the way that the blister has aged with the glue. It's all warping, and the rubber band is in about a hundred pieces. It's just completely disintegrated. So I want to pull it out, pull it off this card, and take a good look at it been looking online at possibly getting a few more of these convoys for the matchbox. So there's your Peterbilt. I think it's a Peterbilt. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it is. Peterbilt. Also, 180 scale. Um, so there's no FedEx markings on this, just the stripes with the colors, or what were then the colors. I don't think their colors are purple and orange anymore. I could be wrong on that, but I think they have green or something in their colors now. Yeah, this rubber band is like it's hard and the trailer on this is really cool so it's just a flatbed with a couple of cargo boxes so that thing was just screaming screaming to be set free look at that so cool 
and uh, oh, oh, I have. Hey, look, the box comes off. I wonder if it's uh, interchangeable there. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the Matchbox did some really cool stuff. I wonder how many of these are missing the box out there. They did one of these too in the early 90s, a few years after this one came out. But I want to do, a, you know, with everything that Matchbox has, everything from um, all the farm equipment and construction equipment, I have this little forklift, which should be able to remove the boxes. And that's just cool. I don't care who you are. That there is cool. You can really get to playing with your toys. <clears throat> Alright. So we got one more. And then we'll call it a night. Some old majorette. This is another one that doesn't have any copyright date on it. Um, these are made in France and they were really big in the 80s. They still make cars actually. Uh, they just aren't sold in the United States anywhere that I know of. But you can get them online and they, they're nice too. They make pretty nice detailed cars. But we have a little satellite trailer, and this is awesome here. Little Land Rover metal base. With the light bar on top, painted headlights, or no, they're not painted. Those are metal, so they're probably part of the base. Um, Spare tire on the back, and that actually opens. So, really cool Land Rover with the NASA badging on it. And let's see if we can hitch this wagon. That's pretty cool. On the hitch, there's like a little plastic flap that comes down to lock it in place. So that's awesome. And then the satellite kind of Yeah, some pretty cool branded stuff uh tonight with the uh the NASA Land Rover the FedEx Peterbilt, the Shell Peterbilt, um, vintage 32 Ford again. Whoa, every time I pick up this Volvo, box pops off. The uh, FedEx Volvo box truck. So, not a bad night of cracking there. Um, oh, what the hell, I'll do one more, because I, uh, I want to open this, so, for, uh, I was going to say it, but I won't, because there's a swear word, and I don't, if there's any kids that watch, but for, uh, for giggles, we'll say, I'm going to pull this Countach off the card, tell you what, Matchbox didn't have any issues with their glue, back in 1991 and just like you would expect it's pure awesomeness look at that front end it's really cool pulling a, an old blue card off off of the uh, or opening a blue card I should say because when the paint hasn't been touched by human hands and it has all of that gloss that looks brand new, it's just really 
Awesome. I don't have, I have a Ferrari collection, but this is the first and only vintage Lamborghini that I have from Hot Wheels. And that is a painted metal base. I have some newer ones, but uh, this is the only older one I have. Pretty sweet. So... There you have it. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, please subscribe. And I'll catch you at the next video.